An all-out brawl caught on camera in Greek town. Now 7 Action News is asking, what can be done from keeping this from happening again? Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. And that brawl happening late Saturday night in Greek town. And it's not the first time. Greek town has a history of both violence and fights. Back in 2017, another brutal brawl was caught on camera and ended with arrests. Then in 2018, a heated argument turned into a shootout that was also caught on camera. And just three months ago, there was a double stabbing. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Greektown. And Ken, you've been asking what needs to happen to change this. Yes, Glenda and Ellen in Detroit City Council President Pro Tem Mary Sheffield says that she is very concerned about the violence here in Greektown and she is organizing a community meeting on the issue very soon. She says Detroiters deserve better and they need immediate solutions to make Greektown a safe place for everyone. This was on the streets of Greektown late Saturday night going into Sunday morning. The first weekend bars and restaurants could be open late after months of COVID restrictions, but violence breaking out in Greektown is sadly nothing new. It makes me concerned after dark. It gives me a second thought and I've been coming down here for 40 years. I knew it when it was authentically Greek town. We've gone to church at Old St. Mary's and gone to dinner afterwards, but if in the summertime, we don't do that because there seems to be increased violence down here on the weekends. None of this should ever happen down here because if there was a, a decent police presence, that would stop all this. But business owners say there were a lot of police officers in Greektown this weekend and still this happened. I don't think they had enough presence because it's so many. The crowds are so large. We can certainly um, um, put some, some police officers in the crowd. We can do some things like that, that to, to ensure the safety of all people that are there. Um, and to ensure that we, we don't have a, a, an outbreak of violence or, or anything like that. That was Interim Police Chief James White on Friday. Today, his office says they will make adjustments to their strategy. The encounter between civilians and police is under investigation. Police say officers were trying to break up a fight that was escalating between two large groups when they began to assault the officers. It was just overwhelmed. You can't have the National Guards out here. Just the people just have to be mindful of each other. I don't know if it's they don't have any, you know, they don't have anything else to do. There's not enough recreation in the area to keep, you know, people busy. You know, that they end up, you know, getting in fights down here. And it seems like Greek Town seems to be where they like to meet and do that lately. We got some of the best police cops in the whole United States, for real. Like, the least things we need out here is our police being extra you know we got good cops out here in michigan and that same young man you saw at the end there said much of the problem actually boils down in his opinion to alcohol live in greektown kimberly craig seven action news